Hello, my name is Kate and here is a charity shop haul. It's a really big haul. I've got loads of things from plates and bowls to um, handbags or like beach bag, um, dresses. I've got lots of cat kids and things. I've got shoes, books um, and some knickknacks really. So um, I wanted to do this haul before I went away, but there wasn't enough time. And everything in this haul was found in Great Yarmouth. I find so much treasure in Great Yarmouth. I think it's brilliant. I love Great Yarmouth, that's why I live here. Um, so I'm gonna start off um, with the things from Sue Ryder and Goulson, but before I start, I've got to do my mug of the day, and it is a very special mug of the day. They're all special, but this one in particular, um, because Toby, when I went to Weymouth on holiday, we went a little family holiday, Toby won this for me on the arcade, so um, with all his little tickets, you know when you put the 2p machines in, you win like the toys off the 2p machines, the money, and then you get you get tickets, so we were trying to collect tickets to get something for him, but we didn't have enough, so he said I could have this mug, so this is my very special Toby arcade mug of the day, and it's got a little unicorn, and it says, I don't believe in humans and it's so sweet so thank you very much toby perry i just showed this to him i was like do you remember this mug I went yeah i won it on the arcade so um yeah thank you toby for my mug this is my gorgeous lovely mug of the day and i've got a cup of tea and hello if you've not seen any of my videos before my name is kate i live in norfolk and i do loads of different hauls my favorites are car boot sales, charity shops, and Poundland. They're my favorite hauls to do. So, um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And if you already have, and you've watched a few of my videos, or you're here from the very beginning, hello to you as well. Right, so I'm gonna get straight into the haul. I'm not gonna hang about. Um, my dress, do you know my dress is from? Should it, is that important? Probably is important, just in case. Um, this was two pounds at a different charity shop in Great Yarmouth, the East Coast Hospice. And I think it's just a Tesco one. Um, yeah, it was two quid and it's just quite a pretty little, um, quite a pretty little dress. Right, okay, so let me get into this stuff. So Sue Ryder in Galston is uh, the best charity shop in the world. It is amazing. But there's hot on its heels is uh, RSPCA. I found amazing things at the RSPCA um, charity shop in Great Yarmouth. It's kind of just before the town centre and you can park right outside. So that one's really good as well. So they are my favourite charity shops. Um, I got a book for Toby in uh, the one in Galston. This is Sue Ryder. Um, I like the look of this. Quentin Blake. It's called uh, Snuff. And I know that um, Toby will like this. So might take that on holiday, always take a few um, books on holiday. We're going on holiday tomorrow, we're off to Cyprus for two weeks, um, so I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll probably take that book. That was a pound, so I'll just shove it in this suitcase. Um, I always like get the odd cuddly toy for Toby because he just loves them. And this is uh, brand new with his little tags, and this cost me pound fifteen. it's just very sweet. So that might come on holiday. Normally one cuddly toy makes it on holiday, so that, that might be the one. Um, okay, what have I got here? Oh, this is this is very posh. This is, oh, I might have to give this to my mum actually, because it's kind of that posh. It's um, a wine bottle candelabra. So it is really posh, five tier wrought iron candelabra. It costs two pounds. And uh, you just put your tea lights, should I get it out of here? You put your tea lights in that bit. I've never seen this before. So you get an old wine bottle and you just put this in, I suppose. Oh, what was that? Oh, you even get tea lights. That's cool, they're a bit sticky. <laughs> Probably melted a bit. And there's also room for another tea light on top. You'd be so impressed at a little restaurant if this was in front of you, wouldn't you, in, in a bottle. So yes, I think that's lovely. And the maker's twine, rustic, um, rustic elegance. I found these shoes in the same shop in Galston and I'm not sure where these are from. Can you tell me? I don't think they do. No, but they were four pounds. They're pretty much, I think they are brand new. They've never been worn um, and they're lovely. They'd be very nice. Lulu, oh, Lulu Townsend. I don't know, I've not heard of that make. It's probably like from TK Maxx, I don't know. Lulu Townsend shoes and yeah, they were four pounds and they'd be really good for a wedding. So I was meant to take them, um, well, I thought I might wear them at the wedding in Greece, but that's been and gone and I didn't take them. But I got this little bracelet to go with them. So there'll be more weddings, I'm sure. I'll, I'll leave them together in my wardrobe and I'm sure that um, I'll wear them at some point in the future or a wedding. I picked up a couple of books as well, um, probably to take on my holiday that I'm going to tomorrow. So I'll have to pack my bags again. We just came back from holiday, so I'm trying to keep everything together so I don't have to keep like repacking it. I'm trying to sort of wash things and just put them back. So hopefully my, my plan will work. Then I'll probably forget what I've got and like unpack and pack again. Anyway, I might take these books. I found those in the same shop in Sue Ryder. They were a pound each. This one is called Sometimes I Lie. I'm in a coma, my husband doesn't love me anymore. That could be a, it says on the back, a gripping debut. I loved it. 
exciting debut thriller. I like a exciting debut thriller. I don't mind about the debut part, but I just like the thriller bit. Okay, and this one is called The Children Act, Ian McEwan. I did say that right, didn't I? Um, and this looks good as well. So um, if you've read these books, let me know if they are any good. And I got this from the Sue Ryder Best Charity Shop in Goulston as well. This is a Kath Kidston rain jacket and it's like a cag in a bag, if that's what it's called. So I can't remember how to get it back in its bag, but it was definitely, or I think this bag is in this pouch bit here. Um, I just love this little cherry design and it's just a little rain mac that cost five pounds. And what I'm going to do is take this, um, we're going to Edinburgh. When we get back from this holiday, we're going to Edinburgh for the weekend. And obviously, Edinburgh rains a lot. When I've been there in the past, but to the comedy festival, it's just rained so much. So I have to take my wellies and, like, um, cag in a bag. So I'll wrap this up and put it in. I just thought that was great for £5, little Kath Kids and Rain Mac. The only thing, it's the tiniest bit too tight at the bottom. Um, and I'm going on an all-inclusive holiday, so I might have to loosen that before we go to Edinburgh, but that won't be a problem. My mum said she'd be able to do it. It's just so pretty. I think it's a small size, but I just love it. It's so cute. I couldn't leave that. I was like, nope, I'll make it fit. It's for me. And I'm now onto the things I found at the RSPCA charity shop in Great Yarmouth. Um, I think they've got a Facebook page. I say I think, I know they've got a Facebook page. And I saw on there, somebody sent me a picture of the Facebook page. So hello if that was you saying they've got loads of Kath Kids and stuff. You're going to love it. So I joined the Facebook page and then I went there to have a little look. And I found such nice things. So I got, oh, I love them. I put a picture on, um, on Instagram of a couple of these things on Monday and everyone loved them. Um, but I got two of these little mugs. I say little. I don't know why I'm saying. I always say little. It's a bit annoying. I don't mean to say little. But these are, are fairly big mugs. Um, Christmas mugs. I know it's the summer, but when I see things like this, I've just got to put them away. And then when it comes to like Christmas, I'll be so happy that I did get them. So they had a set of six of these, and they were only fifty p each. But I thought that I didn't really need six, but I went for two because um, it'd be quite nice. Me and Leela on Christmas Day. <laughs> Have a cup of tea or coffee and uh, these are queens and um this make it says the caravan trail festival merry christmas look at how pretty these are i just love them so these are the ones i put a picture on instagram of on monday and everybody loved them so they look like emma bridgewater i think they're from tk maxx and i'm pretty sure i've got a mug like a big mug in the same design and teapot i'll have to double check but i'm pretty sure it's the same design they've just been upstairs waiting for me to do um the haul these are handmade in poland that's what it says on the back and yeah i'm if you've seen these in TK Maxx, let me know because I'm pretty sure that's where they have come from. But they were 99p each and they're just so pretty. So I can have my porridge, porridge, banana and blueberries. Like that looks so cute in there. The little picture on Instagram. It's going to be lovely. So there are those two bowls. They're really cute. And actually I did need new bowls, which is good because this hall is kind of full of bowls. Um, these two are lovely. So pretty. And a lady had just found these. And she left two for me. I think there was one or two. And she said, oh, you can have them. Um, I got one of them because she didn't want one. And then um, she said I could have another one. So she was really kind and gave me um, one of hers. So I got one of each colour. They're so pretty. Again, they're quite big bowls. These are from TK Maxx. Look at that little bunny bowl. TK Maxx, 3 99 And they were in the charity shop for one ninety nine. So that's... um like a blue one isn't it so pretty and um, that's the make on the back royal stafford i think it says um that's that one and then she gave me a pink one so i've got one of each and they're just adorable so they're sort of more pasta bowl sizes aren't they just really cute again that was 3.99 so i'm so pleased with my little bunny bowls and my heart bowls they're lovely i haven't shown lee these i know he's gonna like them so obviously you can use them at easter but you can use them all year round can't you so yes i love those okay now really exciting really 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 exciting when i went to the rspca shop i said we were talking about kath kidston she went oh i have got a dinner set a kath kidston dinner set and i was like oh, can i look at it please um and she said yes yeah. so she brought it out and she showed me it and um I said, how much do you want for it? And she said, 20 pounds. I was like, yes, I'll definitely have it because we've got quite a lot of Kath Kidston, um, like dinner plates and bowls and stuff and mugs. Um, and actually I found a lot of car boot sales of Kath Kidston um, plates. But what I like about it is you can mix and match and it just looks lovely, doesn't it? Well, I suppose anything, you can mix and match anything, but just, uh, I just love Kath Kidston things. And this, is, I'll show you this dinner set. Originally it was 90 pounds and it's got um, four plates, four bowls and four smaller plates. I think I'm just gonna 
going to grab it. It's quite heavy and it's all in its original box as well. I was so lucky. I've never found like anything like this in a car boot set and car boot sale charity shop. I've always found like one or two things, but never like a whole set in a box. And yeah, it's got 90 pounds on this and inside. Oh, so exciting. Right. So I've got different plates. That's one of them. They're all uh, different colors. I'm going to be very careful with these. Um, I've got a yellow one. So pretty. I've actually been after this for years, but um, I just didn't want to pay full price. So I just thought, I just like, you know, getting things a little bit cheaper. Um, and then I think there's a green one and a blue one. So pretty. So after this, I'm going to take them downstairs and put them in our like cupboard with everything and start using them because they've just been waiting up here till I got back from a uh, holiday. So, and Lee really likes them as well, I showed Lee. So that's four of those. Then you get four of these all different colored, these ones. Um, there's like a pink. I'm gonna try and leave it in here actually, but you get the gist, all different colors. So is there a picture of them? You get a yellow and a blue and a pink of this size. And then, yeah, so four of those. I don't want them to smash. So I'm not gonna get any more plates out. And then four bowls. The four beautiful yellow, green, pink, and blue. So cute. And I think, actually, I don't know if I've got the mug of this. Maybe I haven't got this mug. I do love this design. I thought I did, but I actually don't think I have. I'm going to have to look out for it at car boot sales and charity shops. But I just love it. So all of this, four plates, four bowls, and four smaller plates was £20. And I'm just so happy that I've got it all and I just love it and I'm going to start using it and I did need we really did need some um you like dinner plates and stuff and bowls and uh little plates actually didn't need little plates but we did need big big plates so you can see why I was so excited to find that I was so happy I also found in that charity shop the RSPCA that's the doorbell but Lee's gonna get it um I found the dress I wore for the wedding they're the Greek wedding and that was 3 99 from quiz and it was just beautiful so I found that the same day I found all the cath kids and stuff I also grabbed this um from yeah RSPCA in uh Galston not Galston it's Great Yarmouth and it's just a little bag and I'm going to take this on holiday I forgot to take it on our last holiday it was only 99p um, it's brand new with its tags from Primark, should have been four quid, but yes, it was a pound. So I'm gonna take that, I think that's really pretty. And then just got three dresses to show you. I think, where are these from? This one is, oh, East Coast Hospice, um, three pounds 50, it's just a little um, Primark little dress, like a little beach dress to just chuck on over a swimsuit. Um, so I'll take that on my holiday. I've been after a stripey dress, but I haven't been able to find one. I want like vertical stripes. Um, but I found a horizontal stripe one. This again is brand new, East Coast Hospice, um, store 21, and this was four pounds 50. So I thought that was really pretty, it's worth getting. I would have preferred it if um, I got, I really wanted one with stripes across, like around the bust, and then like stripes going down, but I didn't get any, but this is still lovely. And this is the last thing I've got to show you. It's a gorgeous dress. It's kind of got scalloped edging everywhere. It was from, uh, yeah, from Scope, it was four pounds. And I tried on loads of dresses, but this was the only one that looked nice. Um, and I'm gonna wear this on holiday because it's kind of, the back is a little, well, not really revealing, but I just probably wouldn't wear it here, but I definitely wear it on holiday. Um, so it's just quite nice to have something new for my holiday. I say new, like new to me anyway. I did buy um, one brand new dress from TK Maxx the other day, that was 9 99 and I found another dress for, for five pounds. So I'll take those on holiday. And if you're on Instagram, make sure you follow me because I'm probably gonna be wearing them on holiday and I'll take pictures um, from, uh, you know, when I'm there with what I'm wearing and stuff. So I did that when we were in Greece. Um, so if you enjoyed that, I'm glad. But I love taking pictures of the things I find in charity shops and what they look like on. And I'm just really proud when you can find secondhand things that cost next to nothing. And then you love them, you know, probably even more than you would if you bought them new. Um, so right, uh, let me show you this dress. Uh, here it is, it's red. It's from, um, what's the make? I've not heard of it. I don't even know what it says. I think it says Lulu's. Lulu's um, and it's just quite strappy. I don't know if I can wear a bra with it, but I think it was quite tight. I might need a little like bikini top. Um, got little like scalloped edging there. The back is also scalloped and then it does up with a little bit here. So I will definitely wear that on holiday. So if you come over and have a look on Instagram, um, there will be a night where I'm gonna be wearing that and I'll put a picture on for you because 
I'm too hot to try things on today. So that is that beautiful dress. The changing room for that one was quite dark though, so you can never tell, can you, until you get it home and you sort of try it on properly. But I'm sure with a pair of wedges, it'll be fine. So that is everything I've got to show you. That is my charity shop haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I love the things I found and I'm just really glad that I got time to do the haul before I went away and show you my, like, my lovely cath kids and plates and my beautiful bowls and my new mugs and my dresses and the book and the cuddly toy and the shoes and uh, the candela candelabra. That sounds very posh. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Going on holiday tomorrow, so this will be the last video before I go away, but then I promise to schedule some videos in. I've already done a few, so I'll schedule them schedule them in for the, the time that I'm away. I'm probably not going to vlog our holiday as I'm just going to sort of hang out with Lee and Toby and I said that I wouldn't do any vlogging this time but I will do Instagram pictures um so do come and have a look on Instagram I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and even if you're not on Instagram you just click somewhere down here and then you just um in the about me bit and click Instagram it's in blue and it'll just take you straight to the page thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and make sure that you subscribe as well if you haven't done and let me know what you thought was the best bargain or your favorite thing of this haul yeah let me know your favorite thing of this charity shop haul and when I get back from holiday I'll be doing lots more videos and hauls and car boot sales I've missed them I've got my uh, charity shop fixed, but I just need my car boot sale one as well. So I'm looking forward uh, to, come, to going to those when I get back. So hopefully the weather will still be nice. But thank you very much. Have a great evening, day or weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I will speak to you soon. See you later. Bye.